So I'm assuming that everyone who is following this introduction video has already uh, downloaded Gridler 2.5. If not, you could do that either on the PV Lighthouse webpage or at Ceres webpage. Gridler 2.5 is a handy 2D solar cell simulator and the emphasis being handy because we've worked really hard to pack all kinds of features into a really easy to use package. So you can see here on the front screen there are four options. You can either choose to design the solar cell from scratch starting with the wafer size, the front print, rear print patterns, stuff like that. Then you're able to save your design into AutoCAD DXF format which is a fairly common text-based exchange format in the CAD community. Also for people who make screens for printing. If you already saved one of these patterns or if you have done some editing in AutoCAD of a particular pattern that you want to import, you can do that by pressing this import AutoCAD DXF button. Later on when you get around to simulating the solar cell with device parameters, you can save everything, the entire session, as a mat file and then load it back later. And then just for general learning about Gridler, solar cells, and in the future, complementary simulation programs, we're constantly updating uh, videos on YouTube. And this may be presumably the way that you found this video as well. So what we're going to do is divide up the different sections like designing the H pattern, AutoCAD editing, simulation, and so on into different videos, which you can navigate in the Gridler YouTube channel. In this video, we're just going to give a very quick demo of the workflow. And we're going to play this in fast forward, but we're going to keep the clock ticking to give you an impression of the time that it takes to design and run a simulation. So first off, we're going to be in the H pattern design page, and we're making a 5 bus bar monofacial monocrystal and solar cell. We hit next, and we're pretty much at this automatic page here that meshes the front and rear patterns into these little triangles in a finite element scheme. Then finally, that brings us to the simulation page where we fill in the details related to the metallization resistances, diode properties, and voila, we have the IP curve of this solar cell. Then we can look at stuff like power distribution, where the losses are coming from. I'll try and visualize voltage distributions at maximum power point and so on. We can also very quickly change the current extraction conditions. For example, simulating here a ribbon connection with its corresponding IV curve power losses and visualization of the voltages on the front and the rear planes. So that gives you a three minute nutshell of what Gridler is. It is very much a handy two dimensional solar cell designer and simulator. Feel free to browse the other videos about the different aspects of its usage, as well as about Gridler 2.5 Pro, which packs even more powerful features for professional solar cell development.